According to the CDC, 90% of Americans consume too much sodium. Now a group of global health organizations has released a statement calling for salt to have tobacco style health warnings to try to curb sodium intake. So this is an example of what it might look like. Um, what do you all think? Well, first of all, I think this is bad news for me. I love my salt shaker so much. My salt shaker is one of my best buddies. Um, so this is, this is, a, this is a, a bum news for me, but I will say this, you know, what we know about these tobacco warning labels, because they're kind of talking about it and comparing it to that. Tobacco warning labels in terms of text Tobacco warning labels are more about statistics. They don't really work that well. Only 7% of people who look at them will say, yeah, I'm gonna think about cutting down on my cigarette smoke. But if you add a graphic, and they started to do this in other countries, we don't do that just yet, but they were testing it in certain markets where, you know, it's like these fictionalized pictures of people who suffered the medical consequences of tobacco smoke, that it ups that sort of wanting to change up to 15%. So if they really want to put this on salt shakers, they need to put a graphic of somebody having a medical I have some good news for you. I have some good news for you. We eat way too much sodium in this country, but it's not, most of it's not from the salt shaker. Right. It's hidden in all the processed foods. Mm. And that's where, so that was misleading because look, if you're gonna go buy table salt, you know there's too much sodium in it if you eat the whole thing. <laughs> but more than 70% of the sodium consumed, that is from processed, and also restaurant foods. And that's where I kind of wish there was a little bit of a warning like, hey, warning, this is really high in sodium. Yeah, no, that would be helpful because people don't realize the salty six, like things like bread and salad dressing mm -hmm. that you wouldn't necessarily think of when you think of sodium, you think of chips and things like that. Some of these foods, you're looking at 40 plus percent of your daily sodium yeah. in one serving. one serving. And how many of us, when you eat a packaged product, and you open the package and there'll be like 10 servings. I don't know if I've ever eaten just one serving. Right. So let's play a little game of do you know where your sodium is hiding? <laughs> so we're gonna play this game. We're gonna show you two popular foods and you tell us which one you think is saltier. First up, yogurt or cottage cheese? It's actually cottage cheese yeah. is much higher, greater than 500 milligrams per cup, yogurt about 200 milligrams per cup. How about this one? Vegetable juice or salted pretzels? Oh. Vegetable juice. It's all yeah. that added salt. Lots oh. of added salt. In fact, a popular brand, 640 milligrams of sodium per serving. Oof. That's like eating more than a quarter of a teaspoon of plain salt. That's a lot of sodium. All right, how about this? A handful of salted potato chips or one dill pickle? Well, you all haven't put me in a pickle because you know everything. <laughs> You're right, it's one single pickle can have up to 280 milligrams of sodium. Wow. And I, th that doesn't mean you can't have your pickle. Yeah. Just don't have too many pickles. <laughs> or it'll put you in a pickle. Uh, <laughs> so if you're gonna go out and dine out and you have problems with high blood pressure, your doctor has said to watch your sodium intake, ask. Also, you can say, look, I, I prefer you prepare my fish or this with, with, without added salt. You are absolutely allowed to do that. If you ever buy a product at the store and it has a label, flip it over and read. Exactly. Look at, see how much sodium there is. And you don't have to worry about the number of milligrams. Just look and see if the percentage of your recommended daily value. A lot of times it is, it's way above 30, 40%. So be aware of that. And then last but not least, you wrote an entire book on this. Oh, Use spices. Use herbs and spices yes, instead to of- Yes, flavor foods. Yeah, no, that's my favorite. It is true. If you're out at a restaurant, you can always get the sauce on the side because that's a big thing is that it's gonna be in the actual sauce. But yeah, flavoring foods with herbs and spices mm -hmm. can add tremendous health benefits and drastically reduce the salt in anything that you make at home. So it's a double benefit if you can get more herbs and, and spices in. And the great irony of sodium Sodium is not bad. In fact, sodium is necessary for us to live and be a part of this world. Too much sodium is the problem. So if you think you have a problem, talk to your doc. Uh, I wanna thank you, Dr. Jan Polis, for being with us.